Hi, I'm Speaker Fox, and this is Fact TV at South by Southwest. I have always collected vinyl, so I grew up loving playing my parents' records, just I think like all DJs. Um, but I took to instruments growing up, so I taught myself piano, I took guitar lessons, I played in bands, I played mostly in punk rock bands. And then I also played jazz guitar, so I played in jazz bands. Um, I sang, I did choir, I did chorus, and it just eventually led to me, I think like around, you know, like my teenage years, I wanted to start going to the clubs, and I liked going to see DJs more than I liked seeing bands, you know? And um, so it influenced me to buy my own set of turntables, and that was about, that was like 2006, I bought my first set of like real techniques and you know it's been awesome ever since so my my experience being a woman in a male-dominated world is um, I feel like it's definitely different than female rappers um, I from my perspective seeing what female rappers have to go through just because it is so male-dominated it's really really tough and it's really hard and a lot of times it's really prejudiced um, that's not my world my world is a DJ world and luckily I have like just got accepted into like a really great group of guys. Don Cannon kind of took me under his wing um, from the jump and um, I had really awesome mentors right from the beginning. Um, old school Atlanta DJs, DJ Nabs, DJ Jelly, um, you know, DJ Drama, DJ Sense, like just like kind of gatekeepers that just looked out for me and saw something in me from the beginning. So it kind of allowed me to have this space where I was I was good from the jump. Now it doesn't mean that like when I get up there and perform, there's an audience full of guys that you know they're I can you know when I get up there and perform sometimes I can tell like they're kind of like ah oh, you know what's she gonna do, and so it's you know it's more of a fun challenge to surprise them that I can I know my music and I can play well and I'm not just some girl you know trying to do it. As a DJ, you learn how how to work with artists and. Um, I really enjoyed working with Gangsta Boo, um, just working with another female and seeing like the hip hop industry, like how it is being a female. And she's, her and I are similar in the fact that you know, like we we hang around a lot of guys. We're used to being the only girl, tomboy type of mentality, so we got along well. Um, you know, artists are very similar in that you learn how to work with them, or you work against them. You know, uh, so it's never. A boring day working with Gangsta Boo, I'll say that. Um, but she's actually become one of my best friends. We're very close, and um, you know, I still work with her on a different level. Uh, we've been working just on a creative level, level, helping her meet new producers and get a new sound. And so I've been kind of doing behind the scenes stuff. Uh, she did that track with Sinjin Hawk a couple years ago, and um, that was awesome to link them together and then she's been working with Beat King recently and so I just try to show her like uh, producers that are outside of like kind of the typical you know like your typical like sunny digital drama drama boy you know um, just because I like the sound that that produces so Burdinsky is such a talented guy but he's a huge fan of Atlanta and he really respects the culture um, Sinjin is also somebody that really is has an aesthetic that, like, he just really appreciates maintaining the culture and not taking anything away from it, but doing his best to add to it. So it's been a real pleasure working with both of them because they respect, like, the life and the culture that I, I live in and I grew up in. I'm definitely around, you know, a lot of, like, electronic or EDM acts as well, just being in Atlanta. And um, my boyfriend is Heroes and Villains, and he plays a lot of electronic music, so we're around two different kind of worlds, um, so they kind of come together and met often, like since the whole EDM trap thing, and uh, there's right ways to do it and then there's wrong ways, so um, I've been really proud of the projects that I've been involved in because they felt like the right ways, and definitely Brodinsky and Sinjin Hawk do it the right way, so. So some of the people in Atlanta that I think, that I have my eye on right now that I feel like are next, um, there's this one kid, his name is Ketchup, and he has a song called Flood the Block. It just came out. Um, I've never heard of this guy. I think he's from the east side, but 
It's awesome. Uh, Pee Wee, I think, Pee Wee Long Way, I think is gonna blow very soon. He just dropped his, like a recent project, the Blue Eminem Part Two. Skippa to Flippa, Lucci, and then these kids' Wedding Crashers. They're kind of more in the indie lane, kind of like Father and McConan, but uh, I think that they're super talented. They have really great, they can write really well. And uh, yeah, those are who I have my eye on.